What is up everybody? My name is Jack Quinn. Welcome back to the channel. It is currently, let's see, roughly 8 o'clock in the morning here in St. George, Utah. Uh, it is Sunday. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what the hell flyball is. Um, we're at a flyball tournament. We're trying to get um, our oldest dog, Indy, her 20,000 points so she can officially retire. Um, we haven't done a tournament in God knows how long, so it's going to be fun, and I'm going to show you guys what exactly it is. Um, it's a dog sport, obviously, um, and it's really fun. Hi, Andy. Alrighty, so just from those couple of get, uh, pictures that I sent um, and put it in, flyball is basically four by four relay drag racing. You have four dogs on a team, you have five jumps, you have a box at the end, a spring loaded box that when they hit it, it's like a pressure point that triggers that make, um, points on the trigger and it uh, launches a ball out, the ball, dog catches it, runs back, and the next dog goes. Um, you have a set, you have the tree light, uh, which is basically the same as like any uh, typical drag script. Um, and basically try and go to get the fastest uh, clean run. Um, and the only way to do that is by not spitting the ball out, um, not making an early start, not making an early pass. Um, if you do an early pass, um, you have to rerun. I don't think, I don't think you have to rerun. It's just a penalty point. Um, if you push, if you go early on the start, uh, the whole race gets scrapped and it gets re-ran again. Um, if you spit your ball out at either just before the line or at any point um, from the box to the line, you rerun the dog to make sure the dog gets it back, um, which adds time, obviously. Um, some teams run just for time. Some teams run for just clean cleanliness. Uh, and sometimes try to aim for both. Uh, but that's basically the general consensus of what flyball is. Uh, we're going to be here pretty much all day. Again, we're trying to get Indy her 20,000 points, which is the highest level um, for a dog in uh, U-Fly, uh, for flyball. Um, and we're just here for the day. We're going to get her two heats in. Um, couple of run-throughs and then um, catch up with some other people that we haven't seen in like four years so that'll be fun to look at um, and catch up with a few people who we haven't seen uh, from the last time we were at a tournament tournament which was in Fresno uh, about four and a half years ago so it's been a while um, so it's gonna be a long day we're gonna be here, we're gonna get over points. It's gonna happen. Um, and then we'll be driving back to Vegas and 
officially put Indy into retirement in fly ball. gentlemen Indy is officially retired she got her 20,000 points she ran her three heats that she needed to do she is done she is done she's retired it's uh it's been a long one I've sat and ran her for a couple of years um my mom has mainly ran her over the years um so it's just been the two of us that have that have ran Indy over her her career she's 12 now um and she's done. She's she's gotten her points. So she is she's retired. She uh, have a lot of a uh, lot of play time and uh, running around the house and not have to worry about tournaments and doing stuff like this for a while. is a line judge sheet. All you do is you circle the dogs, win, loss, tie, no finish, the time. Okay. You flag if there's a ball spit, early pass, early start, 
um, or if they spit the ball before the line, so either at the box or between the jumps. And that's how you line judge. got her points. We've been here all day. It is 6.21 here in St. George. It's been a long day, but we had a lot of fun. As you can see behind me, they're still doing some stuff. They're in race 81 out of 90, but it's time to go home. It's like 9 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night now. Uh, we got up at like 3 in the morning, got ready, and just drove straight here to St. George um, early in the morning to get there by like 7 o'clock Utah time, uh, 6 o'clock here uh, back in Vegas. Um, and we were pretty much there the entire day. Like... The, the, we weren't running the entire day. We weren't running Indy the entire day. She just needed uh, two full, clean uh, run-throughs or heats uh, to get her her 40 points, to get her to her 20,000 uh, point mark uh, for U-Fly. Um, and she got through them clean. Um, 
she ran three heats. She got through all three of them uh, clean for the most part. She had to rerun the first one, uh, but still got five points. Um, and the way that you get a clean heat is, like, once, like, your dog, like, if you run, your dog could be perfectly fine. Like, they could go over the jumps, not bobble. They can get their ball, go over all four jumps, uh, hit the line, and, like, either not early start or don't get an early pass. Like, your dog can be perfect. Um, but, like, the last dog that could run could spit the ball before they get to the the line like they could spit it at the box or they spit it too early um riders are going over the final jump and they don't rerun that entire run through gets marked down as a no finish as it as incomplete uh if they don't run if they don't rerun the dock to get a clean run um if you rerun it and you're with under the 35 second time limit then you get five points um, for the like the whole every dog that's on that uh, team gets five points, um, and that was the case that happened with Indy for the first run through. Second run through, she got all ten points. Uh, second uh, next one again, or she got twenty five points. Excuse me, she got, she got twenty five points, and then the next run through, she got another twenty five points, um, and so she got seventy points on the day and earned her twenty thousand points. Um, and she, we pulled her and sat her down for the rest of the day as that was it. She's, she was officially retired. Um, but that is overall the general consensus of what flyball is. Um, it's not very known to people outside of, um, people who are involved with flyball or know people who are, uh, who do flyball. Um, that is... A general consensus you have four dogs um they go in drag racing each other over four jumps hit a pressure triggered box uh, that pops the ball out and they bring it back um and they do it either three or four times depending on how many heats are needed um and then you get scored on and you get timed and um there's a couple clips with another team from Vegas called Touch and Go. They are the current world record holders uh, for the fastest time um, of like the fastest completed run through uh, in UFly, which is one of the um, leagues of flyball. The other known league is NAFA, um, and that's one that people run a lot. Um, but we run U-Fly. We've always run uh, U-Fly. It's, it's easier. It's less confusing. Um, from my understanding and basic knowledge of it. Um, but uh, Touch and Go is another team from Vegas um, that are uh, the world record holders. They actually... Funny thing is, they yesterday, Saturday, um, Saturday during uh, the day... They actually broke the world record twice, but because their dog, they don't, so the thing with touch and go is they don't rerun. If there's a fault, like a spit ball or an early pass, they don't rerun the dog. They go for speed. They don't go for clean, for like clean runs. They go for speed. And they, they got the, the record twice, but one of their dog, the last dog spit the ball early. Uh, so it didn't count. And so all throughout the day today, they were trying to break that 13 second point. Like they were trying to get it under 14 seconds because that's the current world record right now is just over 14 seconds. So they were trying to get under 13 seconds or 14 seconds and break the 13 second mark. So any point from 13.0 to 13.9, they were trying to get, um, and set another world record. They've, like, almost every tournament, um, they have set a world record. Almost every time. Almost every tournament, they're setting a world record. Um, and they're, they're a pretty competitive team. Um, but overall, just, the people there are really cool. We caught up with a lot of people who we haven't seen in Flyball for 
four to six years. It, the last time we ran was four years ago, and that was when we went to give Haley her 20000 And unfortunately, Haley is no longer with us. She passed away last year, and actually right around here. She passed away in September, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, actually, no, it was like... It was during the summer. It's like June or, June or July that she passed. Might have been August. Um, but she passed away last year. And we went in 2018 to Fresno, uh, which was a. And that, that tournament was ran by another team uh, called Mutts in Motion. Uh, and we went to that tournament to get her, her 20,000 points. And we ran the whole weekend. We ran the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, and we realized Sunday morning that Indy was close to her 20,000. And so we planned it all out. They pretty much, both of those dogs ran all day. Like they ran all day. Um, then Haley got her 20,000 points at that tournament. Um, but Indy was two uh, heats away from getting her 20,000. And so just this timing and schedules just didn't work up for that year and a half. And then 2020 hit, everything shut down, obviously, with the pandemic. And um, Flyball took a massive hit. Uh, NAFA and UFly took a massive hit during the pandemic. There was no tournaments going on. There, there, was, there, there was nothing going on for two years. Um, so we... Finally, we were able to go up uh, today on Sunday, uh, and we just needed two heats, and we got it, and she is officially retired, um, which means we are now officially retired. Haggis is our other dog who ran. He is too far behind, and he's he's older now. He's 10, and he's, so, and he's behind like too far behind in order to get it in the next couple of years. So we've decided to call it quits. Uh, for right now, we are in retirement. Um, Indy's retired. Haley retired a couple years ago. Um, Haggis is now retired, and we're taking a much-needed break from flyball after doing it for years. I grew up doing it, and it was a lot of fun. And I, I do plan on going back because it's something that I enjoyed and it's something that I grew up with and I want to get more involved with it because I, I wasn't overly involved with it growing up. Over the years, like the last few years that I ran and did fly ball with my parents, I was running dogs, I was box loading, I was doing a lot more stuff with the teams. Um, and the team that we were on, uh, Flying Aces, that was a team that I've been on for years that, we, uh, that I grew up with. Uh, and then when we went to Fresno, um, I got the Wicked Team Flyball shirt. I know the initials say WTF. It's funny. That was a whole reason behind it. Um, that was a whole reason why the team got named Wicked Team Flyball was because the initials. Um, it's a good uh, family friend of ours that runs that team. Um, and we left. We actually technically left Flying Aces after that Fresno tournament because some things happened um, that we didn't overly like. So we kind of left um, and just kind of been on our own and just like this weekend we ran with Vegas Velocity, which is another team in Vegas. There's like four teams in Vegas, four or five teams, but it was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it and got a good peek into what it actually is. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like that, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload again. And as always, I will see you guys in the very next episode. Peace.